Created for the 2020 New Mexico Albuquerque Game Jam. The theme is, even apart, we make a great team. <coughs> I would love to know if you would like to see a longer episodic type of game with a similar experience but more game mechanics. Something to an interactive creep show type of Halloween game. Please leave a comment. Oh yeah, hold on. Uh, I didn't actually do this for the last few days. Turn off the light for added spooks. Hey, John. Good timing. We're already on the second game because the first game didn't work. <laughs> So welcome everyone, I'm pretty much doing what practically everybody is doing on Halloween night if they're streaming, which is... I found a bunch of indie horror games on itch.io and decided to play them. Well, a bunch in four that I found interesting. One of them didn't work, so we're on the second one already. <laughs> Just finished Dread Out 2, would not recommend. That bad, huh? Welcome, cute little girl. I would love to open that door. It's Janko Clock with less charm than the previous game. This doesn't look like PS1 to me. Nah, I finished up the demo disc. Okay, so literally all you can do is move. Yes, hi there. You can knock on a door. I cannot open it, though. Uh, worst case scenario, if I don't really... If I end up short and my contingency plans don't work... I can buy some stuff on Steam. I mean, I already did buy some stuff on Steam. was scheduled to serve 15 consecutive life terms in jail. But the judge gave him the death penalty after confessing to 11, count them, 11 gruesome murders in his own apartment building. We're talking Jeffrey Dahmer kind of stuff here. This, this stuff made Ted Bundy look like an amateur. Amazingly enough, one survivor managed to escape and help lead to his capture. This brave woman escaped his clutches after he cornered her inside her apartment and through sheer determination or craftiness, hell, maybe even luck, she managed to injure Darren Barr and escape. Where he was then cornered and surrendered to his Okay, then. Fatal Frame 5. It has to be something that I can complete in one night. Because uh, I'm still working on RE8. I guess I could... Like, worst case scenario, I could just continue with my RE8 playthrough. Yeah, I don't know how... Uh, actually, yeah, I do know how old this is. This is from 2020. But yeah, everybody does PT at some point. Technically, Capcom did with Resident Evil 7. Uh, beginning hour. I'm just getting the vibe that this is just like a, a walking simulator haunted house. Oh, hi. Hi. I guess you want me to go in here? Hey, if anyone's gonna run a laugh track, it's gonna be me, alright? Welcome home. I mean, uh... I guess it could be a home if there's a bed and a toilet in here, but a bunch of washing machines? Uh, I guess I could just wash my clothes a lot. Seems more like a comedy than a horror game. Well, that uh, laugh track was me. <laughs>
Did I just go backwards or are we just in a loop? You know that PT... Oh. That PT comparison is becoming more and more true. My worst enemy, invisible walls. Oh my god, they turn on the lights! So the last caller asked a great question. Why? Why kill your neighbor? Did you think well, you could get away? Karen was pretty deranged. I mean, abuse when he was younger, a history of erratic, <laughs> demented behavior through the teens, and then he joined this cult. And that's when things really took off. That's when the remorse left. It was a purpose. It was his calling. Apparently, he needed all 12 victims. And he was unable to achieve that because of the one. I mean, the power works, right? Oh, my God. Uh... Yeah, I can't set it either. All right, that's going to be a little annoying. Uh, this is kind of full screen windowed, or it's like fake full screen. My, uh, my cursor's going to my second monitor, and if I click off of it, uh, then I click off of the game. Now we're suddenly getting very religious with the hallways. Wonder if there's more than one ending to this. That is a very low poly couch. Okay, maybe I just don't click at all. It doesn't really seem like I need to click. I think literally all I can do is move. I can't be separated from you. We need each other. I'm disappointed in you. I could swear that that was going to be the jump scare moment. Damn it. Hi. And those look like pleasant chaps. Have laugh tracks ever been used for actual horror effect? Because it actually sounds like a feasible idea. It sounds like a good idea for a horror comedy, like, uh, Scary Movie. I wouldn't be surprised if Scary Movie actually did it. Five years. I hate him, sir. I can do that, but I don't wanna. gift for me. Wait, is it a gift for, like, me as in the player, or a gift for the ghost? I mean, I'm not really a botanist, but uh, it's the thought that counts. My heart. Sorry, I stole it. Oh, this is a gift for you. Wait, the same question arises. <laughs> Your head? Oh, hi. He's practicing his violin. 
How astute. Add laugh tracks to a horror game that starts like a comedy, but over time makes the player's psyche associate something. I think there's been... I, I swear, I've seen that in like a... A cartoon. Like, probably Looney Tunes. Where, like, they, they're they aware of the laugh track in the background, or... Maybe, like, Family Guy did that or something. They're aware of the laugh track in the background, and it just slowly drives them insane. Because it never stops. I like the lighting. It's funny because it's not it's not red, it's orange. Like this just looks like a sunset and it actually feels very pleasant. Now you know what my stomach sounds like. Hi. Would you like to uh, have a seat in the chat, sir? Oh look, he's even sitting by the light too. So, uh, caller asked about I'm coming for you because even apart we make a great team. Well, I can't run, so you're probably gonna come for me pretty easily. Rise back up from the dead? I I doubt it. Whoever it is though, they have a remarkable sense of accuracy. I mean, it's almost scary. Even details from prior murders that were never released are being replicated. I don't know, guys. I, I, Albuquerque's looking a little scary, and I truly don't know when the bloodshed's gonna end. Yeah, this one is literally just PT, because you keep going to the same room over and over. Hey, padded room. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Come in. salvation if you want the right thing if you if you believe in the right thing then you know he was correct and honestly caller she ruined it for everyone you listening to this radio broadcast has ruined it for everyone standing there in that hallway you think you're gonna get away do you think you could leave us no, no even apart we make a great team we'll be back together <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> Ah, uh, the invisible walls got me again. A certain woman, he let escape. You see, the news report says that there were 11 gruesome murders. In fact, there were 23. They were just spaced five years apart. And we're about to finalize the ceremony. Welcome to paradise. I knew you couldn't stay away. And even apart, we make a great team. <laughs> I 
mean, we are kind of physically apart because I can't kind of get through this invisible wall that seems to have appeared in front of me. Hi. Hey, can you move this invisible wall, please? Well, that was... okay. <laughs> to be fair, it, it is very hard to actually scare me in these games. I kind of got spooked maybe once or twice, though. Oh, I didn't see what was said earlier. Evil Within games are pretty dirt cheap. I hated the first game. I still haven't played the second one yet. <laughs> 